what is a uh, I see all the time and I get such a kick out of you engaging in in gun debates and everything online correcting misinformation with all that what is because you're so close to it what is the the gun take that gets your goat more than anything else that when you see you're like these non anti-gun people oh there's a couple there's a lot of misinformation out there but the uh the the big one is it, it seems and it's some of the easiest stuff to correct too uh it seems like uh, a lot of the people that are, you know, spouting anti-gun stuff on on the internet say like, "There's no reason for a, a civilian to be able to go into a gun store and buy a fully automatic weapon." I'm like, "Well, that's crazy because you can't. That's that's yeah, not yeah. a lot." Like, do you, you have any idea? accidental ally? What's up? <laughs> accidental <laughs> ally. Yeah. 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 Subreddit. It's like. The- I- you, like the the hoops you got to jump through and like Kyle knows like the, the shit you have to do to have access to this is insane. Um, if you don't have your FFL, it's uh, still like a lot of paperwork and it's very expensive, like prohibitively expensive, like a year's salary for most people. I'm glad you're here because I wanted to ask you about this. <clears throat> this is the coolest. I don't, I don't look at guns really that much anymore, but the coolest gun thing I've seen in a long time was uh, a friend of the show. He bought a Mac. And the, then he bought uh, um, a conversion kit so he can put an AR upper on his full yeah. auto transferable Mac. Yeah. And now he's got a fucking real machine gun for like, I, Macs used to be $4,500 when I was looking at them. They're a lot more now. I think yeah. he paid 10 or something. But still, it's like a $10,000 machine gun, like a real one, a fun one. <laughs> and it looks yeah. like shit. <laughs> <laughs> they, look, they look so fucking awkward. But that's the cool part because that's the workaround. Because, you know, the lower of it on, I guess, on I'm assuming on the Mac, tens whatever the lowers are considered the firearm or the machine gun so the upper that you put on it's fucking irrelevant it's just like changing the barrel or the muzzle brake it's not the regulated part so you mm-hmm. just put on whatever I, th- I think i know who you're talking about the uh the, the company that sells those they're they're mm-hmm. kind of neat i mean i get the premise you want to be able to shoot five five six with ar mags like here you go yeah taylor asked the most frustrating aspect of gun debate mine is this when someone says why do you need that Right. Like if it's a gun thing, then suddenly I have to justify it. No one ever ever asks me why I need eight motorcycles. They never ask me why I need hockey equipment Mm -hmm. or I don't even know how many sticks I have. No one asks me why I need anything else in my life. But suddenly for guns, even though it's a right to have it, they need me to like describe a scenario where it will come in useful. No, I don't play that game at all. Why do I need it? I I don't. Or I'll say zombie apocalypse. I like that one, too. Yeah, I know it's kind of a bumper sticker thing, but it's like they don't call it the bill of needs. Like, I, I don't need to justify, like, why the hell I've got it. And plus, I already kind of have it. So what's your plan for making sure I don't anymore? Yeah, it's going to be tough. Look at your background. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's there's a lot of ways to shut this, that this, this shit's my net worth, man. Like, I, yeah. I, I don't know what you want from me. <laughs> oh, wait, there's an RPG on there. Is that rubber? Yeah. That's what we. That's what brought yeah. up the, the army story. So that's it, that one's not rubber, but it's like a Chinese uh, dummy. It's got all the explosives scraped out, and everything like that. Uh, okay. Another thing I think is funny with the the army or not the army the uh, the gun thing I'll see sometimes is people being like, "Why do you even want an AR-15? Don't you know the government will just murder you where you stand with a drone?" <laughs> it's like, no, no. Like how how many times has that been gone through when people oh, yeah. understand like insurgencies and like like fighting an armed populace? Like, yeah, Maybe. remember how we we dominated Afghanistan so hard? Oh wait, like, like yeah, it's like Eric Swalwell, the, need, the you senator. Need soldiers on every corner. Like, you can't control stuff with 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 just drones and shit, just murdering people. Like, and, you know, drone operators have families, so you know it's you know yeah. Hey. There's a, a lot of people don't want to harm their fellow citizens. And and wouldn't do that. Yeah. I, would, I would hope it's just like Eric Swalwell, like the the senator, I believe, or congressman, who was saying, like, you know, you you never beat the U.S. government. Like, we have nukes. I'm like, the fact that a representative of the U.S. government has just threatened to nuke its own people are kind of why we want guns. It's kind of a good idea. <laughs> they they like they nuke Montana to show they're serious. We win. <laughs> it's a mushroom cloud and the fallout rain. <laughs> Fuck, it's blowing this way. <laughs> also like it, 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 Which it, way? Yeah. Weren't you put in the middle of the country? It was yeah. going to blow <laughs> one way or the other. That's kind of about this, yeah, Brandon. <clears throat> you can't be into guns anymore, but you still have to be a weapon guy. What do you pivot to? Mm, uh, guns as in like legal definition of firearm? Or firearms. Okay. You can't use firearms anymore. Not even flintlock. Ah, damn. Because I was going to go black powder because black powder is kind of fun. 
Nope. Um, cannons, cannons work. Those are kind of cool. There's that's fuck no. Um, I would have. I I mean, archery, like the nice, like three, the like the three thousand dollar bows and shit like that. I don't have any skill in them, but I've shot them before, like buddies and whatnot. And they're uh, okay. shot buddies bows, not shot buddies with them, but they're uh, they're they're pretty fun. I, I would probably get into that. Those are kind of neat. Um, air guns are crazy. Air guns are wild. Still a gun, yeah. Oh no, you you, you get around everything like flintlock. Not in this fucking question I made up. (laughs) (laughs) There are some wild, some wild air guns. I don't know what the cutting edge of that shit is, but just it like shoots through the years. I remember seeing that thing that shot arrows. Is that what they're allowed to have in? Um, didn't we talk to Finn about that? That he can have air guns. They do a lot of air guns over there. You can have Finn's rich enough to have real guns, but in in the UK. But well, even uh, then, I don't. They they're kind of limited to like shotguns and hunting rifles, right? Like I don't think rules really- and restrictions. I think over there, like there's the something that people don't realize is in any country, pretty much, if you have enough money and connections, you can get whatever you want. You're just gonna yeah. have to pay out the ass for it, like because they just like like when they film movies in the UK, those prop houses are using real guns a lot of the time. They're real machine guns that are like blank adapted and whatnot. But, you know, there's some license that has to exist to let that, you know, be owned. Yeah, because there's an industry for it. Like, there's, exactly. a, there's a proper reason to, to possess those things. Yeah. Um, and, and then I, I'm sure there's all sorts of antiquity laws and, uh, and collection um, clauses and such over there so that rich folks can just have their fancy shotguns. I, I mean, they have that fox hunt all the time. Where, where are those guys getting their guns? 